Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ashes of Alarm mount from Tempest Keep. The mount has a 1% drop chance from Kelpath Sunstrider and is one of the quickest to farm mounts in the game considering that it only takes 5-10 to 10 minutes to go into the raid, kill Kelpath and run back out. The raid entrance is located here in the Netherstorm and to get in you simply just have to go through the front and you get to the raid entrance. This is the route that you want to take to get to Kelpath a lot quicker. You can completely ignore all the other bosses because you don't need to kill them to get to the last room but you can kill them obviously if you want the loot. The ads on the way to Kalthas can be ignored, but if they aggro to you, probably best off kill them because they can stun you for a bit, which can be just annoying. As for the encounter itself, first he'll send his four advisors at you, which you want to kill one by one. Then he's going to summon in all the different legendary weapons, of which after you kill you can loot to get the weapons, but it won't actually give you any transmog or anything, so you may as well leave it. The items will disappear in your bags after 15 minutes and they only sell for like one copper. Because of how quickly you kill the boss, there's a wait time for Kelvas to start doing his RP, which is around 2 minutes. Once he does start, he'll revive them all. My best tip for that is to either have pets on defense or stuff like Immolation Aura where you can stand next to some of them and they'll die instantly. When there's all four of the advisors, you can get stunned quite a lot and just completely stun locked. So best try and go for the Grand Summoner first because she has a 10 second stun. Finally, once you've killed all of them, you can actually attack Kalthas. Although you'll hit him once and then he'll just fly up into the air and become immune again for another minute. He basically just goes up there, destroys the roof, comes back down and you can hit him and kill him. The only thing you really need to worry about when fighting Kalthas is that he can actually mind control you if you've got a pet active. If you're a warlock, he can make you use Burning Rush and your pet will just finish you off and reset the entire instance and you got to do it all again. But everybody else is pretty much fine. Thank you guys for watching. I'll leave some videos here if you guys fancy checking them out. And make sure to subscribe for a free fly rock because it's good for throwing. Not really much else to it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.